Hey everybody, Austin here at The Real Seal, back talking about foundation crack repair methods that you should know about. Especially if you own a home in the Chicagoland area, it's important that you are aware of the different types of repairs that can be possible when you run across foundation cracks in your home. The first and most common repair method we deal with are the epoxy injection method. And this is when we inject a two-part non-expanding epoxy into the crack that fills that entire void and stops any water from coming through. Now the magic number when it comes to these cracks is that the crack should be between, you know, no more than an eighth to a tenth of an inch wide. Once you start getting wider to those quarter inch and above cracks, that's when it's very indicative of foundation settlement and movement, which then brings us along to the different ways that we stop the settlement and movement. When you have a wall that's coming in where it's a bowing wall, a tipping wall, we like to use tie backs wall plates, and what also comes with it, C-channels. C-channels are the same basic thing uh, as the wall plates, except that they have a full steel beam that goes the whole length of the wall. We tend to do this in uh, walls that have cinder block foundations made up of them. So when you put a wall plate on the wall to try to hold it back, well, with cinder block, you may just be holding that one little area back. A C channel will grab the whole part of the wall so that we can get better support. In both of these cases, what will happen is we will have the plate or the channel on the inside of your wall and it will run with a threaded rod into a trench in your yard, usually about 13 feet away, where it will then have another plate and we can tighten those plates together and hold back and even push back your foundation wall. Carbon fiber straps and staples are another great solution that is less invasive but doesn't push the wall back. The straps will stop any inward movement of the wall and arrest it right in place. We'll put the staples, which are basically stitches on a wound, with carbon fiber for your foundation. And we'll put those right across perpendicular to the crack down the length of the crack about every eight inches or so, and it'll help hold and stitch that crack together. The straps will hold that entire wall from moving back or from pushing inward anymore. And it'll help really repair that foundation for you. All of those come with lifetime warranties except for the wall plates. The straps and the staples, a lifetime transferable warranty, while the wall plates, tie backs, and channels tend to come with a 25 year warranty. Moving on, if you have any settlement issues where the wall is actually going down, we can fix that with helical and push piers. Now helical piers are used in low weight situations where we can't use the weight of the home to drive the pier down. So we'll screw them into the ground with a hydraulic drive head off an excavator. Push piers are the same concept except like you heard me say before, we're gonna push them into the ground off the weight of the home with a hydraulic drive stand. And both of them are gonna be driven till we hit supportive strata or bedrock. That way we can ensure that your house is supported enough in order to stop any more of that movement. All of our pier systems come with lifetime warranties because we grout all of our piers and we ensure they're driven to proper depths and we only use ICC certified peering systems to ensure that the entire country can be confident that our peering system works and that it's not something we just slap together. We use the best of the best materials, we use the best of the best crews, and we want to make sure that your home is there to enjoy for a very, very long time. After all, it can be the biggest investment you ever make, so it's good to make sure it's well and protected. If you have any questions on these methods, we have videos, how we do it videos, on every single service repair that we do. And you can cruise through them and see for yourself actual projects with our actual crews to see how those were repaired. If you have any questions at all, give us a call at The Real Seal, where not everything's better when wet.